Yeah. There's nothing quite like an ice cold Dr. Pepper. Oh, hello everyone. My name is Denzel, and today we're going to be looking at a package that I got in the mail last week. Yeah, it was last week. So, before we start with that, this is my current drone. This is the drone that I use for all my freelance projects. This is the drone that I use for all of my personal stuff. And this is the DJI Spark. It's one heck of a workhorse, and I love it. But today, I'm going to be looking at a Mavic Pro. Okay, so a friend of mine sent me this drone. He's looking to downgrade his drone to the Mavic, uh, Mavic Air or even the DJI Spark. But he sent me this drone to look at because he's interested to see if I'm wanting to buy it from him. But I asked him first, I said, all right, well look, you know, it's a used drone. Can I test it first? Can I see what it looks like? Um, I wanna see if it's something that I'm interested in buying before I actually buy it. He said, yeah, sure, no problem. I'll be out of town, so. He sent he sent me the drone, and this is, I have already looked at it, so I will say that. I have already looked at the drone, but this will be my first time flying it, and you guys will see that. So, let's see, it comes with something that outside stuff. Let's see what it comes with on the outside first. It comes with, is that, it's a car charger. Cool. And then it comes with this pocket. Battery. Charged up to three bars. Alright. So with some of the big pocket here. Ah, so it's the drone itself. Okay. I mean, that would make sense if that's if this is a drone bag. It would make sense that the drone itself is in there. Sometimes I amaze myself how obvious I make things seem. The remote connects to everything. Put your phone connect to that, I'm assuming. 47% battery. So that's going to need to be charged. If, I need to, if I'm going to fly it today. Alright, here's the drone itself. Ooh. That is something. Wow. Okay. Well. He did warn me that it was painted. The person before him that owned it did paint it. Wasn't quite expecting what it would look like in terms of it being painted. Wow. That's one heck of a paint job. Does this come off? It does. Okay. So the paint is painted well, I guess, and that it's not in like all the crevices or anything like that. Okay. Man. But. So he. So the guy who's trying to sell it to me, my friend, he. He said that he did not paint it. It was the person that. Before him that painted it. And the person that painted it. I mean, it's. Painted well in the way that. It's not on any of the sensors, or it's not in any of the motors, or on the lens, or anything like that. But this is a rough paint job. Look at that. See all the cracks on the back of it there? See, that's what the drone is supposed to look like. 
all the way around. It has a very rough paint job to it. Alright, well, I guess that's what the drone looks like. That battery has three lights, three bars, but that's not fully charged either. Well, that, that battery doesn't look as bad in the drone as the purple one. But it's still a very rough paint job. There's like chips on it and everything. The way it's been painted it almost looks like it was some sort of acrylic paint that was used on it. And then it actually looks like it's been painted twice. So we have the yellow paint on this battery on the sides here. You see the yellow paint on the sides of the battery. This is the purple and gold one. It has the yellow paint on the sides of the battery, but then on the top of this other battery, this black and red battery, you can actually see some yellow paint there on top of it. So that makes me think that it was painted purple and gold and black to begin with, and yellow. And then it was painted a second time to be silver, red, and black. So, man, okay. So, in comparison, this is the DJI Spark, my drone that I bought with my own money and I've not painted it. And this is the DJI Mavic Pro. I guess the only question now would be, how does it perform? How does it fly, though? Okay, well, the next thing is next, we need to connect it all and see if it will even turn on. All right. So the remote said it had 47% battery. Yes, you can see that 47% battery on there. So that's gonna need to be charged at some point. Okay, so let's let's see. Let's do this. Let's get my phone out and we'll connect it to the remote and we'll see if we can get the remote on the app. So right now my phone is connected to my Spark. If I can pretty easily connect it to this, that'll make my life a lot easier. Flies. Paint job aside, that flies really well. Coming from a DJI Spark and having the connectivity issues with the Spark, you know, the Spark connects via Wi-Fi to 
the remote to the drone and then from the remote to the phone. Let's think as hardline connected from the phone to the remote and then it's radio frequency from the remote to the drone. Not a single connectivity issue with that. That was an amazing experience. The footage does look incredible. And having come from the experience of only using the DJI Spark, which is obviously a much smaller drone, the DJI Spark also has a lot, a lot of con connectivity issues in terms of it connecting to the remote and sometimes losing connectivity while flying. Mavic Pro very easily overtakes the Spark in terms of connectivity, in terms of customi customizability, that's a mouthful, in terms of being able to get like the shot that you want and being able to control what the picture looks like. The DJI Spark shoots at 1080p at 30 frames a second, that's set, you can't change that. On the, on the Pro you can change it to uh, 1080, 720, 4K, you can shoot at 60 frames a second, 48 frames a second, 24, you know you have all these different options with it. And for being an $800 drone, it's an amazing piece of work. But this paint job, that's something else entirely. I mean, given if I am to purchase this, I would be buying it used. But is it worth it? It's quite a decision I have to make here. Do I really want to give up my DJI Spark and pay an extra 150 bucks? for the Mavic Pro. Hardware wise, it's a massive upgrade. But I don't have any chargers for it. The paint job is abstract to say the least. And the DJI Spark was my first drone. This comes with like sentimental value. I know that's a weird way to look at things, but at the same time, this was my very first drone. If it I kind of want to just keep it just so that I have it and say that I you know, kept my very first drone. Anyways, I got some decisions to make. Hope you enjoyed this video, this unboxing or this unwrapping of what this Mavic Pro looks like. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do, whether or not I should trade in the Spark for the Mavic Pro and pay $150 extra dollars. Maybe I should just buy this outright. Or should I just save my money and just get for, go for a Mavic 2? Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.